You may remember Brady and Michael from last May when we all went out to Hot Springs Off-Road Park in Arkansas. We had been talking about it for a while, but finally Michael and his wife were able to come down to Texas for a visit. Obviously a side goal was for Michael to pick up a couple of badges while he was here. The two in North Texas are Hidden Falls Adventure Park and Northwest OHP. Two weeks before they got here, the Canadians redirected the jet stream and we ended up with ice coating everything. At one point, it was so thick, even on the grass, that just going to the mailbox was sketchy. Conveniently, the weather settled down to a beautiful, partly cloudy and 60 degrees when we headed down to Hidden Falls for badge number one. Hey, uh, Michael, especially for you, make sure to open up your badge of honor app and check in now that you've driven 11 hours to get here. I'll pull over right up here to do that. Once we got our check-ins taken care of, we headed up Park Road 1 to the Green Mile. Hidden Falls rates their trails 1 to 5 diamonds, and Green Mile is a 4, primarily because of the ruts and the ledges at the top. Green Mile joins with the North Pole. We didn't stay on it long though since we headed to Wildcat Mountain on Park Road 3. Hey, it's Texas. The peak is 1400 feet and we use the word mountain loosely. Anyway, we stayed there for a few minutes taking in the view before accidentally taking Loose Rock Trail down. I say accidentally because all the trails on the southern end of the summit are supposed to be one ways going up. The trail gods have no mercy though, and snared Brady on a ledge, giving him time to think about his mistake. Michael, being a supportive brother, went around him to provide an anchor point, but I just ran the camera so he could fully enjoy his misfortune. Brady proceeded to tug himself off the ledge. Hmm, that doesn't sound good. Okay, yeah, you're around. Anyway, after he put his stuff away, we kept going, and after two lefts and a right, we found ourselves at the entrance to Wet n Wild. Now this is the trail that Brad may or may not have gotten stuck going down the <laughs> It's true, I got hung up a little bit here the last time I went down the trail, but it wasn't anything two guys pushing couldn't help undo. Here's that same spot today. This rock is positioned just on the other side of a ledge, but low enough you might not see it. If you're in the center of the trail, you go off the ledge and land on your axle. Most of this trail is just dry creek bed with small boulders scattered around. Then you get to this ledge. Twice I've come here thinking I was going to give it a shot. Then you're standing in front of it and it starts to seem like not such a good idea. So off to the bypass. <laughs> You're straight down now. Close, 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 close. Ooh. Oh, your bumper's pretty high clear. <laughs> <laughs> a lot higher than my gas tank. I was pausing here because I was thinking, if I came down these two steps at an angle, I might be able to drop one wheel at a time. But the last time I didn't listen to my spotter at Northwest OHV, the line I ended up taking turned out to be not so great. So I went with it. Yeah, now cut straight over, yeah. You know, we don't want to get too crooked, you want to be straight down. Okay, well, um, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, you're not bad, 
side, you're a little bit to the right, but that's, you're okay. I would, I would say passenger, not driver. One more passenger. One more. There you go. Get ready to drop, get ready to drop. Get ready to drop. Just nice and easy, nice and easy. Your driver's side stuff. I would, okay. I would go back passenger a little. Got here, okay. You're okay, that's fine. Straighten out a little. Ooh. You're okay. You just hit your slider. <laughs> I always figured if I came off a ledge, I'd be landing on the frame rail or belly pan. I really wasn't expecting to come down sideways like that and hit the factory heavy duty rock slider with step assist. It didn't handle the weight well and flexed into the body and gave me a little dent for a souvenir. I'm not exactly sure where that was. Probably this little connector between Park Road 2 and Baby Back because it wasn't on Wet n Wild and we followed Baby Back around to Bronco Buster. I think this trail got the name because of how narrow it is. The Broncos of the 80s and 90s would have been a little big to fit through comfortably. After a quick stop to hit the restroom and air back up, we followed Park Road 1 out to the main entrance. Tomorrow, we take Michael to Northwest OHV up in Bridgeport. Until then, take care. <laughs> now that is what makes a 392 so much fun.